Okay. Okay, so well, we're reaching the end of your fellowship uh, with the Arc Aging Programme, and we thought we'd just like to take an opportunity to ask you for some reflections about your, about your visit. So maybe we could begin by asking you what attracted you to come to the Arc Aging Programme in the first place? Well, I was immediately interested when I heard about the programme because it was focusing on older people and on care and on carers and those were, were the, that was an area where I knew that I had been working myself for some time and so I could see an immediate point of connection but I also was attracted to the programme because it had a partnership with external voluntary sector agencies mm -hmm. and with public policy and professionals and I could see that there would be an opportunity for me to work in a way that I've tried to work in, in England, in the work that I do there and in, and in other areas of my working life and so it seemed a really good complement to what I already do and I've been extremely happy with the way that it's gone and it's really you know, for more than exceeded my hopes for it so it's been a very interesting time. Good. Maybe you'd talk a little bit about the programme and the people you met and what you felt you were able to share with them. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, the uh, uh, first thing to say would be that I've had the opportunity to meet colleagues working in very similar fields, both at Queen's University Belfast and at Ulster University, and that's been really interesting for me. And uh, and But I've beyond that, I've had the opportunity to meet people working in the broad field within Northern Ireland, people from Connected Health, I've met people at Cares Northern Ireland um, and I've had the opportunity through them and the, the activities they organise to meet with some of the people who support carers in Northern Ireland and participate in different networks to develop services and support which I found really interesting and, um, and uh, I think we've had a really constructive and useful dialogue. Yeah. No, I think that's definitely true. Um, of, of all the things that um, happened, what would you say you valued most? Well, I think the Tuesday um, uh, seminar that we had, um, the, work, the policy and practice workshop that we had at, um, at Queen's um, was really successful and that was great because I had an opportunity to talk about some of my own work and I think you know I, there was obviously interest in the room in some of the things that, that we learned through that project which we'd recently completed which was funded um, in England to look at older people in telecare. Um, but that aligned very well with other speakers and it was good to hear um, about some of the innovations and developments that are happening in Northern Ireland in that particular field. I think it was very helpful that I'd had an opportunity to meet some of those speakers and their colleagues beforehand so that I had a chance to really understand where they were coming from and what kinds of challenges they were experiencing and what kind of innovations they were mm -hmm. trying to introduce and so it was a good learning opportunity for me but it also pr provides an opportunity where I felt people were interested in some of the insights from our work and were interested in thinking about whether they could apply them here in Northern Ireland too so that uh, felt very productive. Yeah no I think there was great buzz in the room and a great mix of people in the room for that for that meeting and yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we haven't counted up, but I think you've probably met well over 100 people mm -hmm. in the course of your, your visit. I would think I probably have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's good. Um, well, just to conclude then, um, you know, uh, as we reach the end of your fellowship, we're certainly hoping we can build on this work together, so maybe you have some reflections. Yeah, you know, I mean, before. obviously it's been very nice for me to have the chance to, I mean, in some of the other events that we've done, I've had the chance to talk about some of the new work that I'm developing, which is looking at the impact and influence of carers organisations which is a subject very close to my heart and that I'm very interested in and I'm studying in different parts of the world and um, Northern Ireland is a very interesting example of that so I'm, I've enjoyed doing that. Um, I want to, and that will inform my work going forward, but mm -hmm. the thing that's been particularly interesting has been to try to start thinking about an onward project which we might do collaboratively between the Northern Ireland universities, my own university, and perhaps other universities across the UK so that we can start to look at some of the interesting things that are happening in the social care field and in particular the way carers' lives are being impacted by policy developments and other changes that are occurring um, across the UK and we can try and get a a stronger understanding of the kinds of policies that really work mm -hmm. and the things that can really make a difference to carers' lives, which is something I think all of us involved in the events over the last two weeks have been really interested in and committed to. So we've got some initial ideas about how we might do that and uh, that provides a really productive outcome from the, from the uh, fellowship for me as well. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well I think that that's us. Thank you very much indeed. And um, I should express that we were delighted to be working with Carers NI on this and for their recommendation mm -hmm. that that um, you would be something they would be very keen to have over. So we're delighted to work with them and to have had you here with us and we look forward well, to Well thank you. It's been, a, it's been a lovely experience for me and I've learned a great deal from it and I've really valued it and I'm sure that you will have similarly productive experiences with other fellows who have come to visit you in the future. Okay, thank you very much Sue. Thank you.